Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the fourth and final video of a series on creating Quake 2 MD2 models in PaperVision, or for PaperVision. Now, uh, as I said uh, in a previous post, I showed you how to make a viewer, and I definitely need to show you how to create your own models, because there's not enough models out there on the web. You will have to make your own or learn how to modify those that are already there. And it is a four-step uh, process, which we've gone over the first three. And that's creating the model, uh, texturing and exporting the model, using Milkshape to convert that model format to an MD2 format. And now we're going to show you how to export the model to a viewer, the viewer that we created last time. So on the book's website, if you haven't been here, all this information is coming from my blog, which is professionalpapervision.wordpress.com. That's where you find it. And we'll scroll down. And each part basically has been YouTubing through the whole procedure so you can actually see the videos on how it was done. Here's creating uh, Quake 2 models, modeling, and then we did another video on uh, the models in UV mapping, and then another video on converting to milk shape. And uh, below each one, the videos are the uh, steps that you needed to take. And this is the final one. We want to export that to the uh, viewer that we created. Let's take a look at the viewer real quick. So we we'll go to that blog post, and I'm going to click on it and uh, just take a look at the viewer itself. And there's the viewer. So if you click on a different uh, data grid uh, category here, you'll get a different model, and you can roll around and, and view that model. And you can download it if you want to. If you come up here and click download, it downloads as well. So let's go back. So we're back on our present post, and we want to talk about step four, export to PB3D model viewer. Now, after exporting to the uh, MB2 format, uh, change the marker XML data to include the pertinent resources and upload those resources, the XML data, the image data, and the zip files to the server. So I want to show you how to do that. Uh, we use FileZilla pretty much a lot. And the one thing I like about FileZilla more than any of the other uh, programs I've used before is its ability to basically uh, drag and drop from the desktop. So once you connect to FileZilla, and we'll get onto the server, you want to go to the folder that you have the program in. So I'll go to Demos and Web Project. And in that, I actually have the modeler viewer in a particular folder named uh, MD2View. And the way that file structure is organized is I have uh, a packs folder and in the packs folder I have model packs and then we have this test house that we've created in the process and in that test house folder I put the 3ds model I put the image and I put the MD2 model and so I've uploaded all that to the server Now all I really had to do and I put all these resources on on the Google code so you can download those but all I had to do essentially was to come along here come along here take all your resources and put them into a folder we called test house and let me show you that what's in that and that contains all your 3ds uh, max uh, models which you don't need but I put them in there so you can grab them it contains the images and all the mb2 files that we created Then once you do that you want to take that folder and just drag and drop it right into the server uh, in FileZilla into the place it's supposed to go so basically the viewer is running on this file structure and all you need to do now is go to the uh, XML content modify that file structure so it will pull all that data in so let's go and take a look at that real quick so I'm back on the model viewer download site that we created previously. I'm going to go to the bottom of it, and at the bottom of it, I actually have all the code listing at the very bottom of that. And at the bottom, I actually have the XML data that you need to change. And here's the XML files. And it's called markers because I pulled this from a Google uh, Maps uh, program I was working on. And I just changed what I need. And you can see address, uh, packs, model pack. And all you need to do pretty much is change that address to point to your test house files. And I've done all that, and I've got it up on the web. We're going to take a look at it real quick. And I won't belabor the point too much. And what you need to do is once you change that XML file, go ahead and upload that using FileZilla to the place it's supposed to go. And at the very bottom, you see this demo house. We'll click on that, and there's my house. Once my texture loads in, you'll be able to see it. There we go. And you can rotate around, and that's the house. Now, you're going to notice that doesn't quite look like the house we made, not the same colors and textures, the same shape. And the reason is I previously uploaded this uh, with the first demo I made uh, just to test to make sure everything was going to work correctly and so the other one I haven't uploaded yet but if you're really partial to that house go ahead and do it download the program get it running and upload now let me just say uh, 
we're going to move on and we're going to actually build this in an air application so you can actually just upload straight from your desktop you don't have to go through this complex process but you need to understand this you need to understand how this xml works you need to understand how in conjunction to flex brings all this data in and how you upload that data to the web using filezilla and believe me this is not the first time you're going to hear it we're going to be going over this over and over again it's a very important process that i probably get a hundred questions on a day so we'll make sure that we cover this thoroughly in the book blog and the book site and uh, also on our YouTube. So stay tuned and we'll continue with the process. I hope you enjoyed this four-part series. This is Mike Lively from uh, Northern Kentucky University.